Hi, this is Stacy Black, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, Bosch Parish Community College, and we are now still in Module 3, our third video on multiplication of polynomial expressions. Today we're going to do something fun. We're going to learn some tricks or some shortcuts for multiplying. Ways that you could do it in your head and not have to write a lot on paper. So, we're going to start and talk about these shortcuts are only for binomials. So we have to understand what a binomial is. If you recall, a binomial has only two terms. So we cannot use these tricks today for trinomials, and they don't obviously work for just monomials. They're for multiplying two binomial expressions. So if we go to our class notes, and we talk about our shortcuts, we're going to hear a new vocabulary word. And that word is going to be conjugate. And the definition of conjugate is very simple. You only use this word with a binomial and all you're doing is changing the middle symbol of that binomial. So for example, if I have the binomial x plus 5, the conjugate would be x minus 5. If I have the binomial 3x minus 2, the conjugate would be 3x plus 2. If I have the binomial negative x plus 1, the conjugate would be negative x minus 1. Now why is that important? Well that is because for today we're going to learn how to multiply conjugates a quick way. So if we go up here to the board, let's review. When I last saw y'all, we were multiplying binomials. And I said to think of this like a two-digit number times a two-digit number. So one foolproof way that always works is lining it up like a third grader. And then you would do your third grade process. Negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. We're done with the negative 5, so we'll put our placeholder and we'll move on. x times positive 5 is positive 5x. x times x is always x squared. Just like we did the previous lesson. Now we can add our columns. This is the only term with x squared, so we bring it down. What happens when you add a negative 5 to a positive 5? Well, in arithmetic, that makes a 0. In algebra, it does the same thing. Negative 5x and positive 5x makes 0x. But we've already discussed this semester, you never write 0x. There just means it's gone, so we cancel it out. And then we'll bring down our constant, negative 25. So what you'll notice is these middle terms canceled out. The reason why that happened is you just didn't multiply any binomial. You multiplied what we call conjugates. x plus 5, x minus 5 are conjugates. We just changed that middle symbol. So instead of doing all this work, we could do a shortcut. And the shortcut is, to multiply conjugates, you multiply the first and the last. What does that mean? Well, look who's first in the parentheses. x times x. That is the first term. So what is x times x? It's x squared. Then to multiply conjugates by the shortcut, the trick, you multiply the last. Who is last? It's what's last in the parentheses. This positive 5 and this negative 5. Positive 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Isn't that the same result we got here working it out? Sure it is. So what's going to happen is every time we multiply conjugates, we do not need to do the work. We could do it in our head by just multiplying the first and the last. What happens, though, if we're multiplying and they're not conjugates? So let's go and look at our notes. Let's look here at example of x plus 3 and x plus 2. They are binomials. They're each two terms. But they are not conjugates. Well, there is also a trick to multiply binomials that are not conjugates 
without doing the work. Let's go over it. So, recall. Again, these are binomials. It's like multiplying two-digit numbers. You could do it the long way. You could list it like a third grader and multiply. And we would distribute positive 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. Positive 2 times x is positive 2x. Okay, we're done with the 2, so we put our placeholder. x times positive 3, positive 3x. x times x, x squared. Once you're done multiplying your columns, you add and subtract. Again, I like this method because everything is lined up for you to add. This is the only term with x squared, so you bring it down. 2x and 3x, you would add and get positive 5x. 6 plus 0 is 6. And there is your answer, your product. What happens if I told you there is a way to get this result without doing all this third grade work? There is a way to look at multiplying binomials and to do it in your head. There's a cute way to remember it. They came up with a word. The word is called FOIL. All that is is a fancy way to remember who to multiply to who, which terms. You've already heard me say with conjugates, F stands for first. And you've heard me with conjugates, L stands for last. O stands for the outer terms, and I stands for the inner terms. So if you know which terms are which, you don't have to do this work. You can multiply this in your head. Now, let's do one. Let's write x plus 3 times x plus 2. And the most important thing is to get the visual of the terms. We're going to multiply the first terms. The first terms are x times x. And you would say, okay, x times x is x squared. The outer terms are x and positive 2. They're on the outside. So x times positive 2 would be positive 2x. The inner terms are on the inside. Positive 3 times x is positive 3x. And like we did a minute ago with conjugates, L is last. The last terms are the last two in the parentheses. Positive 3 times positive 2, which is positive 6. Now, if you do fall correctly, you will see something really cute up here. You have a little smiley man. If I put some eyeballs up here, you can see. First is his eyebrow. Last is his eyebrow. The outers is his mouth. The inners is his nose. So that's a cute visual to help you. If you do fall correctly, you should make the little smiley guy face. First, outer, and last. What I want you to notice is you have four terms here. These are the same four terms you got here. When you do FOIL, you've got to remember these terms in the middle, the outers and the inners, are alike. So we have to put them together. So it bring down the x squared. 2x plus 3x is 5x. And bring down the constant 6. Look. It's the same result. So what's important to understand is this FOIL method can only be used with two binomials. Cannot be used with trinomials, and it's not for monomials. It's multiplying two terms times two terms. So in today's last module, we learned some tricks for multiplying just binomials. You will see these tricks throughout the rest of the semester. Have a great day.